Hey everyone, my name's Kitty Yells Gamer and welcome back to BuzzFeed. These are three, I repeat, three random quizzes that I found while browsing Facebook. <laughs> the first one's called Which decade do you belong in according to your movie option? Opinions, options, opinions. <laughs> anyway, first one is Choose a musical Grease, Singing in the Rain, The Wizard of Oz, The Mr. Lab. Hmm. I like something that doesn't depress me. Wizard of Oz is a cursed movie and I don't like it that much anyway. And I really don't like Grease because Danny's a fool and Sandy is... Well, she shouldn't have changed at the end. Anyway, so Sin in the Rain and I watched it. It's a good film. Choose a horror movie. The Shining, Paranormal Activity, The Silence of the Lambs, Carrie. I like Jack Nicholson so I'll go with him. Choose a comedy. The Pink Panther, Ghostbusters, Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, The Big Lebowski. The only one I've seen out of them is the Ghostbusters. Choose a rom-com. Love Actually, Amelie, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Bridesmaids. I've only seen parts of Love Actually so I'll go with that. The rest of them I haven't seen. I've heard of them but I haven't seen them. Choose a teen movie. Ugh. Clueless, Heathers, Mean Girls, Rebel Without a Cause. I've only seen part of Mean Girls and I didn't like it. Never see Clueless. I know what Heathers is about. I kind of like Rebel Without a Cause. I was actually kind of put off Heathers because it's set in a school and I don't like anything set in a school. But then I discovered there's murder in it. Yeah. So let's go with that. Not only that, one of my favourite YouTubers, Miss Carrie Hope Fletcher, starred in Veronica as Veronica last year in the same name Heather's <laughs> and she looked good anyway choose a drama The Godfather, Twelve Angry Men, Forrest Gump, Room you can't go wrong with Tom Hanks so let's go with him choose a franchise Star Wars, James Bond, Harry Potter, X-Men well this is no brainer Harry Potter <laughs> you got the 90s you belong on the age of rewinding VHS tapes and listening to film scores on your Walkman. I never had a Walkman. Go swoon over Leo DiCaprio, blow bubblegum, and rewatch Pulp Fiction for the ninth time in arguably the coolest period of recent history. Hmm, was it really? I'd say so. Not just because I was born in it. <laughs> okay, I'm happy with that. I grew up in most of the 90s from 94 and 99, so that's good. Only Spanish speakers can get 9 out of 12 on this Disney movie. Well, growing up, I learned a bit of Spanish because we went to Spain how many times, mother? I don't know. And I actually have family in Spain, and my cousin's daughter, she's nearly 11, and by the time she was three, she was translating for her dad. I know. From Spanish to English, I mean. Oh, anyway. La Bella y la Bestia. Well, that's easy. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> la Cincienta. I hope I said that right. My mother would know. I'll have her take this quiz. <laughs> that's Cinderella. I know that. Because Dumbo Smithell's chicken liquor will be Polo. Hang on. The Kenya Polo, something like that. And I don't know what 101 Dalmatians is. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> and the dados. Hmm. I think that is tangled because it's one word. Which is a clue. Yeah, it was right. And anyway, Lion King would be a Leon something. Alright. Bejos una aventura en minatara. Well, Minatura is miniature, I think. And Aventura? I think that's adventure. Una is A01. Hmm. I don't think it's sold in the stone, stone because that's something else. It doesn't sound like a good dinosaur, so it's either Monsters Inc. or A Bug's Life. But. A is in the title of Bug's Life and A is there, so Una, one, or A, so Bug's Life, yes! 
<laughs> oh, that's good. Alright. Non Serene Serenita. Serenita? The Spanish pronounce every letter in the word. But they're not all in English. I know that. You know, the it's do something so we can rule sleep and beauty out. It's not to the jungle book because I'll be liberal something. And sleeping beauty would be sleeping bonita or something bonita. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I'm not even Dora the Explorer level, I know that, but I can figure it out. Right, so la salinita. Hmm. Well, take ITA off, that's siren, so little mermaid. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. And El Rey Leon, Lion King, I knew that. <laughs> Ooh, Intensa Mente. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Well, it's not into the woods. Incredibles would be incredibly. Ibli or something and oops one word that's two I know you can figure it out I'm pretty sure incredible is what I just said Oop is one word there and though it could granted it could be called something else in Spanish because my cousin's, my cousin's wife who lives in Spain and is fluent in Spanish we love her to bits she said that Moana was called something else. I think it was Vienna or something like that because Moana around the Mediterranean part is a different film entirely. And if innocent Spanish kids or Spanish speaking kids happen to Google it, they'd probably find something else entirely different and something they shouldn't see. Anyway, back to me. Um, intentamente. Um, hmm. Well, the only option out here is inside out. And I've done it. Alright. La Dama y el Vagabundo. I hope I said that right. Dama. Dama. Fox and the Hound. Snow White would be something else. Blanca, I think. Blanca. Set. Una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Seven is sept, I think. It begins with an S and there's no S here. <laughs> um, so it's either the Fox and the Hound or Lady and the Tramp. La Dama, so Lady, Dame, get in. <laughs> and, oh, a Libro de la Silva. Silva. Silva? I know V is a B. Pronounced B. A Libro. De la Silva. It's not National Treasure. The book is in the title. I know that. It's Spanish and English you can figure out because of the pronunciations. That's all it is. Alice's name would be in the title if it, that was true. So it would be Alethea. They call me Alethea. Or Alith. Alethea is Alicia. Who am I thinking? Alith. Uh huh. Wrinkle in time. No, it's not that. Obviously, because book, libro. Ugh. Wait a minute. Of course, it's obvious. It's Jungle Book. The Book of the Jungle. Well, something like that. Because. Is it? I'm going with Jungle Book. Get in! Yes! Oh! Oh. <laughs> I wonder what my mother thinks of this. She loves Spanish. Alright. La Espada en la Piedra. Hmm. It's not Snow White, I know that. Notre Dame would be something else in Spanish. 
angels on the outfield? Don't like that it be that. It'd be Angelis. Or Angelis. Right, Los Angeles. Hmm. So on the stone? Yes! Alright, uh, oh, okay. El extrano, extrano mundo de Jack. Whack. I know J is pronounced an H. Ha. Well, more of these are similar. Mouse would be different. Sound and music would be musica. I have no idea what my Frankenweenie would be. And, well, name of her for Christmas? We would call it something else? Jack's in the, Jack's right there. He's the main character. Ha ha! Yes. Ooh, okay. What is one? Hugo de... Actually... Hugo de... Gemelas? I hope I said that right. De is a connective. Wreck it, Ralph. It's not frozen. I know that from my little cousin. <laughs> Parent drop? Get in! Spanish expert. You definitely grew up speaking Spanish. Uh, have become fluent in it or just got really lucky, yeah. Well, they're both. Either way, you should be pound that multiling multilingual brain of yours. Mm. Alright, well, I'm proud of that. I got 12 out of 12. <laughs> I'm tempted to have Mama Gamer test this. And I might send it to my little cousin because she's learning English. You know, she's already, she speaks English already because both her parents are English. <laughs> and it's got Spanish in there, so maybe. <laughs> and I always end the DVDs with the English title, you know. <laughs> It helps and she likes sharing it with her friends. Oh, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Some of you might know of Unus Arnis, a channel which is going to be deleted in exactly one year. And I think that would be November 15th because that's when they started. And since it's run by Markiplier and Ethan from Crank Gameplays, of course, the first video they would do was make breakfast with sex toys. I'm not even kidding. It's right there. But anyway, but they have a true message. Memento Mori. Remember death. You can't escape death. There's even a painting I forgot the name of. But if you just look at it right, you'll see a skull. I can see it in my head, I can't remember for the life of me, but that's irrelevant right now. Most important question of this day, the 1st of June as I'm recording this, am I an Unus or am I an Arnus? That's Arnus with two N's. Anyway, Unus Arnus is a YouTube channel featuring crank gameplays, Unus and Markiplier Arnus, as I do re ridiculous challenges every day. Each person has a very different personality, which is most similar to yours. Okay, we're going to find out. Alrighty. I need a drink first. <laughs> if you had just one year to live, how would you spend it? Making sure each day was better than the last. I'd spend too much time thinking about what I wanted to do. Take my time and savouring the moment. Eating all of the best food in the world. Well, definitely come off keto, that's for sure. I'm going to live for a year. Hmm. I don't, I'm, I'm not a foodie. I'm not a foodie at all. I'm very, very picky. So, I don't think too much. At least I don't think I do. <laughs> and I would save, save the moment, but I like the idea of making sure every day is better than the last. I would have spent it at Florida. <laughs> Where Disneyland is. No. Disney World. Then I go to California and spend like three months at Disneyland there. Then I go to Hawaii and go to that Disneyland. And I think that'll be it because I've already been to the one in Paris. And I think there's one in China, but I've only got a year left to live, so. And 
and let's face it <laughs> Disney World the biggest one of all or best one of all I forget which both maybe <laughs> what is one food you can't stand Ugh. anything fast food pretty much I'm very picky squash it's okay my mum makes a great squash soup or broth it's not scotch scotch broth <laughs> scotch broth it's like a very thick soup peanuts i like peanuts i know who that's for <laughs> asparagus asparagus it's just, it just smells so weird which of these outfits do you prefer comfy shorts and a shirt hoodie and jeans summer dress anything that shows off my muscles Well, a shirt doesn't do that for me. I haven't worn a hoodie since I was 17. If you wear a summer dress in England at any time of the year, it's flipping freezing. Well, Northern England, I should say. So a comfy shorts and a shirt. Right now, actually, because it's like 20 degrees outside. And I just said it's usually flipping freezing in Northern England. <laughs> you get the idea. If you were in a knockoff Matrix movie and you were offered a red pill or a blue pill, you would leave because the pressure was too much. Take them both. Knock both pills out of his hand and tell them that this movie sucked. Reach behind his ear and grab the purple pill. I don't know what either pills do, so I'll take them both. Hey now. <laughs> How about hey later don't try it at home you're an all-star hey baby you're an all-star it's a good song which of these games do you want to play minecraft doom eternal animal crossing new horizons shovel all of the horror games down my throat animal crossing because chickens don't kill themselves in that game how do you feel about pain I don't mind as long as I'm in control of it. Pain is only temporary. No hurties, please. I like to find out my limits, but I'm not a masochist, I swear. What kind of pain? Emotional pain? Physical pain? Well, I agree. Some things are only temporary, we saw this one. But am I? <laughs> as long as it's not peanut butter. What's the deal with these random questions? Fill up my head. I am bread. Well, I don't like peanut butter anyway. So that's... I don't know why I said that. What's the deal with these random questions? I don't know. Fill up my head. With what? But my bread fill up my head? Is that something I don't know about? I am bread. I like bread and butter. <laughs> oh bully. If you saw a giant ketchup bottle with Benjamin Franklin's head, how would you react? Realise that you had now had competition for getting dates? What? Are you crazy? I was the one who created the masterpiece. That sounds horrible. Marry it. I've only got a year left to live. I'm not going to be married as a cardboard cutout. I'm not the one who created it. I'm definitely not the one who created it. That sounds horrible. Finally, and most importantly, let's say you have a dog and it has been a very good dog. How will you reward it? All of the treats. Oh, let's say I don't have a dog and I have a cat. Well, I do have a cat. She's obnoxious, but she's still my cat. Build a dog house or maybe just a dog bed. Yeah, I've seen that video. Tum Tum rubs for days. No, all the treats. And both? You are equally similar to both Unus and Arnus. This means that your personality is very balanced between many different traits. You can be the most random, silly person in the room, or you can have a serious death star that can intimidate anyone. That is scarily accurate. Anyway, this is a normal thing, however. What? Oh, <laughs> you feel confident some days but other days you doubt yourself this is a normal thing however and you should not put yourself down for when you aren't feeling your best have you subscribed to unasanis <laughs> only when it first came out 
If not, what are you waiting for? Time is running out. All things come to an end. Before you know it, your opportunity to be part of this history will be gone. Memento Mori, Unus Arnus. Okay, well, the first part was kind of scary because one of my nicknames was Randomer when I was younger because, well, I said the most random things. I still do. I just said I didn't like peanut butter and I had nothing to do with anything apart from butter my bread. All right, well. Uh, uh. Oh well, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little freaked out that that first part. So, I'm both. I should wear a grey shirt, even though the only grey shirt I have has a rose on it. That could mean something. Hmm. <laughs> well, anyway, that was fun. I had a good time, and well, that I'm gonna end it here. I hope my finger like Mark in the photo. <laughs> I mean, honest in the photo. <laughs> With that, if you liked it, hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe for more. See you soon.